morning, PHS. I'm PTV's Devin Gritton with your May 4th, 2017 news. And to my right is my lovely co-anchor, Erin. Yep, that's me. I'm Erin Renneker, and we have some spectacular news, to, so stay tuned. off the show, let's get your SRT meetings a rolling. GDC is in room 146, Spell Bowl in room 120, Varsity Club in 204, and during third hour and after school, there will be a 3.30 meeting for robotics in room 141, and also during SRT, the basketball team is meeting in the main gym. Then after school, choir auditions for next year's Crimson and Counterpoint will be today in the choir room. No pre preparation necessary. See Mr. V in the choir room if you're interested. Any girls interested in being Queen of Blueberry, applications are being accepted for the 2017 Miss Blueberry Festival Queen Pageant. The pageant will be held on June 17th at Argus High School. Applications can be picked up in the guidance office, or you can go to the blueberryfestival.org website and print one out. The deadline for the applications must be turned into the Marshall County Blueberry Festival office by May 12th. Any questions, please contact the Blueberry office at 574-936-5020. The Plymouth High School Speech and Debate Team will be holding its annual showcase this Friday, May 5th, 2017 at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Studio Theater. This event is open to students, faculty, and the community. The PHS Speech Showcase is twofold. It provides an opportunity for PHS students who have qualified to represent Northern Indiana for the 2017 National Speech and Debate Tournament in Birmingham, Alabama this June, a chance to perform in front of their peers, family, teacher, and community. Second, it is an opportunity for these students to raise funds to go towards the cost of attending nationals. Admission to the PHS Showcase is free. However, donations will be accepted to defray national trip expenses. Plymouth High School's 70s Variety Show will be held Friday, May 12th and Saturday, May 13th at 7.30, both evenings in the PHS Auditorium. The event is open to the public and tickets are $7 and it opens at 7 p.m. for general seating. Tickets will be sold at the door each year the Performing Arts Department comes together to present either a musical or a variety show. And this year, it's a variety show. The theme for this year's show is 1970s. Choir, band, and theater arts all come together for songs, dances, and skits that connect us to the 1970s in a fun way. Admission is free, however, donations will be accepted to defray the national trip costs. As a freshman, did you ever worry about going to the wrong class or finding any classes in general? Well, sophomores and juniors, if you want to help out the incoming freshman class and mentor them next year, you can sign up for a mentor program here at PHS. Training will be on, the, on July 26th from 9 a.m. until noon, and the orientation will be on July 27th from 8.30 a.m. until noon. See the guidance department if you are interested in this great opportunity. Short film submissions for the Gift of Warmth 2017 Lake Max Film Fest are due Sunday, May 15th, 2017. The top cash award for a college student at Indiana College or University is $1,000. The top cash prize for a Marshall County High School student is $500. The website has the official rules at lakemaxfilmfestival.com or the submission site is lakemaxfilmfest2017 at gmail.com. Back by popular demand for one last time is my co-host Devin Gritton's special segment, Finish That Song. Let's check it out. Okay, so today we're about to crash uh, actually Miss Wiesman's room oh, and no. then another oh, teacher. No. So let's go in. Okay, Finish That Song is going in. Uh, let's find, okay. West Philadelphia, born and raised. I don't know this song. Oh, it's okay. Ah. She's my cherry pie. Nope. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Some boys take a beautiful girl in. Ah. Is it too late now to say sorry? What are you doing? No, I don't want to do this. I know you love me. Oh, come on. She's my cherry pie. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, 
Some boys take a beautiful girl and... This is the part where you sing. You, oh, come on! Oh, nice try, nice try. Well, well, you guys, this week was a bust. Nobody knew the songs. That's too bad. Keep your eyes out. PHS, I'm coming for you. This is actually Miss Legan's room, and we're going to try to crash her room. Let's go. Mm, let's find somebody. Finding people is relatively hard. Okay. As we see a couple of casual high schoolers. Okay. I know you love me. I know you care. Doing different. Just shout whenever. <laughs> I'm not singing Devin. And I'll be there. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> is it too late now to say sorry? Because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. We're all in this together. Every no when we stand. Come on. Oh. Sweet Caroline. Low IQ. That was awesome, Devin. Aw, thanks. I wish I could do more. It might actually now be my favorite segment, besides Juan's movie review. Speaking of Juan's movie review, this week, Asus A is a fill-in for Juan. He is fulfilling another one of those requests, and he is reviewing somewhat of a new movie called Get Out. Let's see what he has to say about this movie. Asus, take it away. Get Out is a horror slash thriller slash comedy film directed by one half of the comedy duo Kean Peel, Jordan Peel, and his directorial debut. The film stars Daniel Kaluuya, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name that, that well, as the main character, with the supporting cast being filled out by Allison Williams, Bradley Woodford, Katherine Keener, Caleb Landry Jones, and Lil Rel Howery. The movie is about a young man who goes to visit his girlfriend's parents out in the country and the peculiar events that happen there. Now, I love a lot of what Jordan Peele has done on, the sh on his uh, television show, Key and Peele. He has a knack for comedy, and a lot of that comedy shines through here in his writing and directing. But what really surprised me was his knack for horror directing. There were a few skits in Key and Peele that kind of shown his potential for horror. And I really like his, like his directing for horror. It's very quirky and unique, and that's something that I found fresh and exciting. His writing also has a strong sense of satire, as Jordan uses this film to tackle content such as racism. I've rarely felt so uncomfortable watching a film before, and I have to give film props for that, because that means that uh, what Jordan Peele has set out to do has been accomplished. Even before all the standard horror stuff come out, like scares and, you know, thrilling, like, kind of action sequences, Jordan creates a very unsettling sense just by the way people talk to each other. And there's so many nuances that I enjoyed from his directing. His vision is fully realized, and without him, I highly doubt this film would have worked as well as it has. Every actor shines with fantastic performances, with my two favorite performances coming from Allison Williams as a girlfriend and Bradley Whitford as uh, her dad. The film is slow in the first act, but thankfully it picks up very quickly and just explodes near the end. So I can't really knock off the film if it makes up for it so well. The film was known to have uh, to have had a perfect 100% on Rotten Tomatoes for a long time, and I have to say it deserves every single ounce of praise this film gets. The film sets out to comment on race as well as be entertaining and a fun time at the movies, and that's what it does. And if it does what it sets out to do with little to no problems, then it is a near-perfect film. And with that being said, I'm going to give Get Out a 10 out of 10 and highly recommend it. It should be coming out on DVD and Blu-ray soon, so whenever it comes out, make sure you check it out. Thanks, Jesus, for giving us the scoop. Now it's time to kick off sports. We have a face you might recognize from NBC Sports doing us the honors today, Jack. Take it away. Hi, I'm Jack Collinsworth with NBC Sports, and you are watching PTV Sports.
right, tonight PHS athletes are taking a break. There's only one event scheduled for tonight, and that's happening at 5.30. The girls' tennis team is scheduled to go head-to-head -head against Northridge, and it's away. However, tomorrow the slate is filled. PHS softball is facing off against Concord at home at 5 p.m. The baseball team is at Concord at 5.30, and also at 5.30 the boys' track team is at Concord. Plymouth High School and our paired-up rival Concord made it to the next round of the Addicts Contest. In order make, to make it to the next round, by Friday at midnight, we have to be one of the four rival teams that get the most votes via Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, Coach Barron and the team ask you to please check it out. FYI, we are up against two Catholic schools. The winners get free customer-made football jerseys for their team and their rival team. They are paired up with... It's almost that time of show again, PTV Trivia Time. But before we get into it, let's recap last week's question. The question was, how many states border the Gulf of Mexico? The answer is five states. Miss Watson's room cashed in on the three bags of donuts prize. Thank you, Alex Walter, for not only capturing all the action for us, but editing it too. You rock. All righty, kids, it's time for your favorite por portion of the show. PTV Trivia Time! This week's question is, which famous blue suede song is used in the movie and is on the soundtrack for Guardians of the Galaxy? If you know the answer, email us at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. It is time to check out what our delicious lunch for today will be. We are having beef nachos with cheese, salsa, corn, and the fruit and vegetable bar. Next week, we will not be having our show. Our final show will be Thursday, May 18th. Make sure you keep an eye out to see the final show of the school year. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Until next time, I'm Erin Ricker. And I'm Devin Gritton. Have a great rest of the day, PHS.